Hello, hello, Cancer, Leo, Cusp, and or Cross Watchers. Hi, you all. Welcome to my channel. I am Tierra Love. How are you all doing? All right, y'all. So last but not least here, we saved the best for last. We're going to take a look into your love connection for the month of October. Please know that these will be general messages, okay? If you are interested in a personal or private read, just check the description box below. I do have my email address listed. Uh, we have full private reads going for just $30, okay? Um, but if you all are active on Facebook, Instagram, and or TikTok, and you would like to check me out on my other social media platforms, feel free to just go to any social media in the search bar, type in Tierica Love, I should come up, okay? Um, it is a lot of fake accounts of me, but yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. All right. But anyway, Cancer Leo Cusp for the month of October. If you all are new here again, welcome. If you all are returning, welcome back. You all thank you to everyone that has previously liked, subscribed, shared, commented, or even just watched. I greatly appreciate it. Okay. All right, y'all. So let's see what's going on with you all. Cancer Leo Cusp. For the month of October, Cancer Leo Cusp for the month of October. All right. Okay, let me give these a shuffle so I can clarify this energy here on the table. Let's see. Let's go. Let's go. All right. So there in the situation here, it seems to be uh, some conflict instability in a relationship here maybe you are having a hard time right now seeing the positive in the situation we could be crying over some things that we cannot change here i feel like in the situation here we have a little bit of sneaky behavior uh, maybe right now we are dealing with some having some trust issues you could be dealing with someone who's kind of in and out um or just being emotionally immature right now okay i feel like there is a risk of a possible pregnancy if you don't protect yourself but you have to use protection in this situation uh with dealing with this person okay you do feel like you want some type of justice you are wanting this person to do um what is right here you feel like this is a life partner this is someone that you do want to grow with here but there's a lot of fears that is blocking this connection here okay but there is this a very strong intense sexual chemistry between you two i do see the challenge would be that someone you or this person has kind of cut off the emotions here um and things have kind of maybe come to a halt if not or slim to no communication here okay i feel like there's a lot of emotional mess or just a lot of emotional baggage going back and forth and it's either hard for you to end possibly a love triangle or for this person to end a love triangle here so there's been no re um no movement there's been a lot of restrictions and either you're feeling stuck i think you feel stuck in this situation here okay um yeah and your emotions is kind of overflowing a lot so it's hard for you to emotionally try to kind of control yourself here so that is a challenge all right i do see in the recent past where this person possibly left you out here in the cold for somebody here maybe you could have lost your um job here or work kind of is affecting the love life here okay i do see in the recent past where someone could have been overspending and this caused some type of um some type of issue when it comes to the finances here okay i feel like in the recent past though you were dominating the situation between you and your person um your person was recently just choosing you here okay what you do know about this situation is that you are holding this person close and dear to your heart here um you are ready for like you are choosing to be happy and that's what you are wanting and you are ready for your heart to kind of lead you um and you're kind of ready for this person to no longer have their feelings here okay you do know that um this person that you are dealing with either fear intimacy or is trying to be loyal um elsewhere okay yep to the rival all right um there is someone that looks like they have an outside influence they have a strong 
a strong influence on your person. It's an outside person that has a strong influence on them here, okay? So you do know someone here that there is a rival here, okay? So what you're moving towards, we have the fool. Being open and ready for new opportunities here. Um, this person possibly making some silent moves, maybe trying to surprise you here, okay? Ask your angels to assist or help you in this situation or in the month of October. I do feel like there's going to be a lot of drama and you or this person is going to be like almost at your breaking point here, okay? Um, and going into the latter part of October, it's either you or this person is still going to be in some type of an illusion here, having a hard time seeing or knowing what is, what is reality, what is true here, okay? So let me get you all some advice. Let's get some advice. Cancer, Leo, cusp, all right. Try to be a little bit more open with this person that you're dealing with here. There's going to be someone that comes in to that wants to reconcile. There's a need for you to trust. Trust in uh, the divine plan regardless of the external, okay? We have a lot of control, uh, wanting to control, a lot of manipulation. Um, you have to know that intimacy is not possessive. Yeah, we have to kind of relinquish control. And this is still make decision because someone needs to take decisive action, like make a decision and move towards that decision that is made. But you do have to be patient because everything will unfold in divine timing, okay? All right, so that is a look into October. I really hope that will be helpful. Thank you all so much for your likes, subscribe, shares, comments. I greatly appreciate it. I will see you all next time. Bye.